What's going on with Kate Middleton and the royal family? I saw in the news that she went to the hospital for an operation in January, but then people online were saying that she hadn't been seen since Christmas and wasn't seen at that hospital at all. But then Charles and Camilla were at the same hospital? And other members of the royal family are not working? There was also tweets seemingly complaining about reporters shading Kate like this tweet. What is going on? Does it have something to do with Harry and Meghan? Answer, officially, the story is that Kate Middleton went to the hospital for a planned abdominal surgery, the palace announced on January 17 that the surgery had taken place the prior day, and she would need until around end of Jan to recover and then would be released from the hospital to recover at home. Separately, Charles required a surgery for an enlarged prostate. He stayed a few nights at the same private hospital as Kate and then was released. Charles was very publicly seen entering and leaving, with his wife also making multiple public visits. Kate was not seen receiving many visits except once from William, but this was to protect her privacy, she was of course in communication with her family and they had other ways of entering the hospital where she was staying. Nothing to see here. However, there are some things that don't really fit. Despite claims that the surgery was planned, Kate had events on her calendar that were then cancelled. So if it was planned, it certainly was on short notice. It's not clear why Kate's stay, and the visits of her family slash friends, would be so much more shrouded in secrecy than the King's. Kate was not seen for several weeks prior to the surgery. Given that it was the period after Christmas, this is more of an oddity than a red flag. There are very non-life-threatening abdominal procedures where a 14-day hospital recovery period is expected, even in private hospitals. Especially for someone with access to round-the-clock home care. Kate's birthday was January 9, before the surgery was announced. The press announced that she was spending her birthday, being pampered, at her parents' house, alongside her husband and children of course. Slightly odd for an adult with homes of her own, though again more of an oddity than a red flag. There was also very little fanfare for her birthday on things like the official social media accounts or big papers, as though the powers that be didn't want to remind people of her. She has not been seen at all. Not a single blurry window photo or a car photo. Given how eager the press are and how much money such a photo would go for at this point, this suggests some level of concealment beyond simple discretion, e.g., a total photo lockdown. Of note, her parents slash siblings have not been seen at all either, at least to my knowledge. This is the same woman who was doing a photo op in full hair slash makeup holding her newborn within 24 hours of each of her children's births, and the same family that presumably urged her to do so. So either whatever she's been through is much worse or makes her much less presentable than giving birth, or something has changed in her willingness to do a kind of proof of life photo. There has been speculation that their marriage is on rocky territory. There was a cheating story involving William and one of her former friends, which true or not, would likely have had an impact on anyone's marriage. There have been a lot of photos of the pair of them where they do not look happy or are putting physical distance between each other. They've both been doing more solo events over the last few years and seem to be spending more nights away from each other. None of that is definitive, but it does start to stack up after a while. Some people believe that pattern is linked to her current issues. The fact that this all kicked off right after Christmas, i.e., let's just get through Christmas, doesn't help. As you mentioned, there's been an odd flurry of coverage that seems positive but tonally off. For example, this interview where the reporter, who is very much in the inner circle of royal reporters, intentionally draws a comparison to Diana's mental health issues, or this poorly chosen image for an article about Kate being reunited with her husband. There's also been stories changed or retracted, like this Mirror article about Kate being volatile which was mysteriously changed to be the exact same article but with Harry's name instead. Thus, people are speculating that there's more to the story. However, the speculation is somewhat restrained because it's considered unethical, and would get them in hot water with the royals and royalists, to openly speculate about someone's health, especially mental health. Some people also believe that even if there is more, it's no one's business, and if Kate wants to pass off underscore 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 as a routine abdominal procedure, that's her business. While others believe that's their right to know, given that she's a public figure and essentially public property. 